Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico, and we're going to get right into it. No bumper. This is my 133 favorite artists series, which means a lot to me. It's uh, I'm sharing the people that I like of all eras, the eras that I grew up with, the eras before I was born, fathers and grandfathers, the new music that I share with you guys normally on this channel. And it's just, I made 133 playlists. I listened to them, I ranked them, and then there's the live experience. Have I seen the band or artist in concert? And, you know, how curious am I about them? Do, did I buy maybe a book or a biography or or when I get a magazine, do I leaf through it? So that's what this is all about. And today is number 103. So if you like uh, this band or are curious about them, I will have a playlist below that you can click on, take you right to Spotify. Uh, I got a couple people following me there, and yeah, I, it's really cool. I love sharing uh, music. Also, I've got a Patreon link before. Uh, I, I can hardly speak tonight. I've got a Patreon link below, and you can support me there, uh, but you're supporting me just by watching original content here. So who do we got on tap today? 103. I've got some physical material, and I've seen them in concert. Two times, twice. So who are we talking about? We are talking about a uh, blues rock band, classic band, still around technically, though one of their members uh, recently died in the last five years. But they've been around 51 years. Yeah, long time. And they are of my era, a band that I grew up with and heard on the radio a lot. I like them talking about from Houston, Texas, the trio ZZ Top. Yeah, I saw them in 1986 and in 1990. So that was both, you know, after the, um, uh, not after, after Burner. Yeah, anyway, those uh, synth, when they started adding synths. Uh, so they had quite a laser show and a little bit of, um, they might have had some pre-recorded keyboards. It was cool. In 90, when I saw them, the opening act was the Jeff Healy band. So that was cool. Anyway, here's what I got. I've got a single disc, ZZ Top's Greatest Hits. And that was their first anthology. And like I say, it's a single disc. So that's the only flaw. And then um, later, I decided to get a double CD anthology, Rancho Tejicano. And I've only got one here because I, I lost the um, insert tray, but I've got a CD here, and then there's a CD in, in there. And uh, this is fantastic. This is, uh, I think they're worthy of two discs. What do I like about them? Well, I love Billy Gibbons' guitar for starters. I mean, holy smokes, what a great guitarist. I was just reading that Rolling Stone had ranked him number 32 of the greatest guitarists. So to be able to see him in concert, uh, just a nasty, funky style. I love it. And uh, yeah, their sense of humor, I love. The rhythm section, so in the pocket. And they borrow from uh, the blues. So if you listen to a song like LaGrange, uh, it's a complete ripoff of John Lee Hooker, but it's updated for the, what was then the modern era, the 70s. But that her, 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 that's right from John Lee Hooker. And it's, uh, it's the same riff from Boogie Chillin'. And I just love that. I love blues, and this is electrified. And they put on an exciting show. Yeah, great. Like I say, funny lyrics. And I like Billy Gibbons' voice. You know, though it did, you know, he's lost some um, luster on that. He's one of those people that can't quite sing like he used to. He's got a gruffer style. But, man, back in the day, I just loved that voice. And so that's it. I got so many favorite songs, I can hardly name them. But they're pretty much the hits. You know, I mentioned LaGrange, and I heard it on the X, and Francine, and just got paid, and Jesus just left Chicago and waiting for the bus, and yeah, I love all those songs. Sharp Dressed Man, uh, great tune, and yeah, just love all of that. So, as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia.